This is a view of the International Space Station uh, Flight Control Room as a team of flight controllers watches over all of the uh, station systems throughout the week. The uh, flight director for most of the week has been uh, Mike Serafin. He served as one of the three flight directors that watched over the team uh, each day uh, throughout the week. All of the uh, uh, space station uh, activities have been going very smoothly on board as the station circles the Earth every uh, 92 minutes from an altitude of 248 statute miles. The uh, crew on board, Expedition 32, Commander Gennady Padalka, Flight Engineer Sergei Revin, and Flight Engineer Joe Acaba are in their um, 51st day aboard the station and 53rd day in space. It's been a busy week for the three crew members as they uh, spent their first week alone following the return to Earth last Sunday of Expedition 31's Oleg Kononenko, Andrei Kuipers, and Don Pettit after 193 days in space. Kononenko returned to his home in Star City outside Moscow, and Kuipers, Kuipers and Pettit returned to Houston. All three have begun post-flight medical checkups and rehabilitation back to the one-gravity environment of Earth. Monday, uh, Akaba performed a communications test of the onboard smartphone associated with the synchronized position hold engage reorient experimental satellites or spheres. He'll conduct operations with that experiment next week. Tuesday, Akaba worked uh, with some of the ongoing experiments and inspected some of the exercise equipment on board as well. He worked with the burning and suppression of solids experiment or BASS experiment, observing and then reconfiguring the uh, binary colloid alloy test uh, experiment, or BCAT. He also inspected the uh, resistive exercise uh, device rope for damage and connected external hard drives to the station support computer laptops so that the hard drives can be reconfigured by the ground for the arriving astronauts of the Expedition 32 and 33 crew, Sonny Williams and Aki Hoshide. Throughout the week, Commander Gennady Padalka and Flight Engineer Sergei Revin worked in the Russian segment, taking inventory, packing the Progress and ATV vehicles for departure, and conducted experiments studying the Earth's environment, designed to document changes that occur over long periods of time, as well as captured data to determine productive fishing locations at various times of the year. Thursday, before joining his other two crewmates for an onboard training exercise to demonstrate the crew's and flight control team's ability to respond to an emergency depressurization, Akaba met uh, long distance with students located at the Science Museum of Virginia in Richmond as part of NASA's Summer of Innovation program. He talked about life and work aboard the station and the importance of education and reaching goals. Friday was spent mostly with packing and inventory activities and some household maintenance along with autonomous experiment checks and tagging up with flight control teams and managers around the world. This weekend, the crew will essentially be off duty but will conduct routine housekeeping chores, exercise, and check on some autonomous payloads and ensure that they're operating properly. They'll also have an opportunity to talk with their family and friends back here on Earth. Next week, the crew prepares the station for the arrival of the next three crew members. Yuri Malenchenko, Sonny Williams, and Aki Hoshide are preparing for their launch to the station, scheduled for Saturday, July 14th, arriving on uh, Tuesday, July 17th.